What is up guys? This past week I attended an event with Gigabyte and they were showing off their brand new motherboards for the Intel Raptor Lake refresh. Now the whole tagline of this event was speed simplified. In this video we're going to go over three of the main reasons that's why they're really calling this refresh speed simplified and we're going to go over the four motherboards that we were shown at the event. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now the first thing with Speed Simplified is going to be the brand new DDR5 XMP booster. With the new Intel processors you are going to get a better memory controller and then on top of that Gigabyte has redesigned their memory layout and reinforced their PCBs. With that you're going to be able to unlock some serious DDR5 speeds. Gigabyte's DDR5 XMP booster will give you predefined profiles based on memory IC and PMIC vendor analysis. At the event, we were shown a system running DDR5 at 8,266 megahertz, which is just insane. And this is just as easy as enabling a profile in the BIOS. The next thing for these new motherboards is probably my favorite thing, which is their Easy Latch Plus and Easy Latch Click. Now with new motherboards, of course, you're gonna get a bunch of M.2 slots and typically installing M.2 drives is just a pain. You gotta unscrew the little screws and do all that work. With these new motherboards, they're going to have a thing called Easy Latch Click. And what that is, it is a metal toolless locking system that basically allows you to take the entire heatsink off at once. And then when you put it back on, it sort of just clicks into place. This is going to save you so much time. It's going to save you from losing those little screws, which happen all of the time. Now, on a lot of these boards, the top M.2 slot is going to be your Gen 5 slot. And with that, you have a larger heatsink there. This larger heatsink will also have that same metal toolless locking system, which again is going to make installing drives there extremely easy. If the heatsinks happen to have RGB lighting on them, Gigabyte has cleverly installed Pogo style connections, so there's no wires or anything like that to worry about. Certain boards in this generation will have a physical button towards the front edge of the motherboard. This is going to go ahead and release your graphics card. Now Gigabyte is calling this Easy Latch Plus. Boards that don't have Easy Latch Plus will have a small tab that sits above your normal PCIe release latch. This tab is easier to access than the normal release latch and will be out of the way of large M.2 heatsinks on the board. Gigabyte is calling this PCIe Easy Latch. Connectivity is going to get an upgrade on this generation of motherboards as well. And you're going to see Wi-Fi 7 on select models. This means you're going to get up to 5.8 gigabits per second of speed as well as multi-link operation. Gigabyte is also going to ship their new ultra high gain antenna with select models. When it comes to the motherboards, the highest end board that we were shown is the Z790 Aorus Extreme X. Now this board makes use of a 24 plus 1 plus 2 power face design that's cooled by Gigabyte's Fins Array 3 heatsinks. When it comes to connectivity, you're going to get 10 gig LAN, 2.5 gig LAN, and Wi-Fi 7, and you're going to get that ultra high gain antenna. You're also going to get dual Thunderbolt 4 USB 4 Type-C ports on the rear I.O., as well as dual front USB-C 20 gigabit per second headers. Things get really easy with this board as it features both PCIe Easy Latch Plus and M.2 Easy Latch Click. Storage will include five M.2 slots, including a PCI Express 5.0 X4 slot. This is going to be the top slot in the board, and it's going to come with Gigabyte's M.2 Thermal Guard Extreme, which is their most powerful M.2 heatsink. Let's just say it's big. In Gigabyte's testing, this M.2 cooler gave an average temperature around 50 C when running a Gen 5 NVMe SSD at full speed. This board is also going to include Gigabyte's LCD Edge View Display, which is a 5-inch LCD that can display CPU temperature, VRM temperature, CPU voltage, CPU clock speed, memory clock speed, and fan or pump speed in real time. The next board is the Z790 Aorus Master X. This board is going to have a 20 plus 1 plus 2 power face design, 10 gig LAN, and Wi-Fi 7 with the included ultra high gain antenna. For storage, you're going to have 5 M.2 slots with the top one being PCI Express 5.0 X4. This slot makes use of their M.2 Thermal Guard XL. This offers 9 times the dissipation surface of normal M.2 heatsinks. The heatsink as well as the lower heatsinks will have the M.2 Easy Latch Click system, so installing your M.2 drives is going to be very simple. You're also going to get USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 connectivity on both the front and rear of the board. When it comes to RGB lighting, you are going to get some lighting on the rear I.O. cover. 
Gigabyte is bringing back their Pro Series with the Z790 Aorus Pro X, and this is going to be their all-white motherboard. Now, they're really stepping things up as they even made the PCB of this board white. They actually had this board in an all-white theme system so we could see what an all-white build would look like using this board. The system had a sensor panel display, and one of the cool things about this board is that it has a sensor panel link connection on the board, so no more routing cables from outside your system back in for a sensor display. The board itself will feature an 18 plus 1 plus 2 power face design, 5 M.2 slots with one of them being PCI Express 5.0 X4. This board also has the M.2 Thermal Guard XL, but it's in white, of course. Connectivity will include 5 gig LAN and Wi-Fi 7 with the ultra high gain antenna. You're also going to have front and rear USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 connectivity. When it comes to RGB lighting, you are going to have some lighting on the rear I.O. cover. The last board that we were shown is the Z790 Aorus Elite X Wi-Fi 7. This board will give you a 16 plus 1 plus 2 power face design. While you do have a PCI Express 5.0 X16 slot for your graphics card, all four of the M.2 slots on the board are Gen 4. The top M.2 slot does have the M.2 Thermal Guard L on it, which is a bit smaller than the XL version. When it comes to connectivity, you're going to have 2.5 gig LAN and Wi-Fi 7 with the ultra high gain antenna. And then you'll have front USB 3.2 Gen 2 headers and rear USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 Type-C ports. There's also a slight bit of RGB lighting on the bottom corner of the larger M.2 heatsink. So that is it for the new motherboards from Gigabyte. Now, this is not going to be their entire sort of Raptor Lake refresh line. These are just the boards that they showed us. They will definitely have one higher board. Uh, coming out and some other boards to fill out the product line. Now, let me know in the comments which one of these boards is your favorite. And if you have any questions, of course, drop those in the comments as well. We'll see you guys in the next video.